Now let's stretch time even further to weeks. What happens when there's no memory laid down for this kind of period of time? A man gets in a terrible motorcycle accident. He is rushed to the ICU, he's intubated, he's stabilized, but he's in a coma. Weeks pass, and then one day, without warning, his eyes open. He turns his head, he looks at his mother and says, I'm hungry. To the people around him, this is a miracle. They've been counting the days, they've been pacing the halls, they've been watching the clock. Time has passed agonizingly for them. But for him, it's been nothing. He reports no dreams, no thoughts, no sense that time even moved. So what's happening here? A lot of what we know about coma comes from EEG readings and fMRI scans, which show severely reduced metabolic activity, especially in the cortex where higher order processing lives. The reticular activating system in the brainstem, which keeps you aroused, that goes quiet. And the default mode network, which is that ever chattering backdrop of identity and self awareness, that goes dark. So in effect, the machinery of consciousness powers down like a city experiencing a blackout.